Hi and welcome, I'm Hammy and in this new video series I'll be walking you through fun extra facts and potential backstory behind the heroes in Overwatch. We discover this through their in-game voice lines. Before any map starts and from various in-game triggers, Overwatch heroes chatter with and react to each other in some funny in-game voice interactions. These give us some great insights into hero character, interests and backstories. We're starting with Reinhardt, a champion of a bygone age who lives by the knightly codes of valour, justice and courage. There are some brilliant summaries of Reinhardt's backstory already, but there's more to him off the battlefield. We actually know that he loves viewing a different range of culture. There's only one person in his life when it comes to music and TV though. Our Reinhardt is a big fan of none other than David Hasselhoff. He really loves his music, expressing it a few times. Reinhardt, we need to find you some new tunes. Ah, you kids, to Davis, your techno music. You should enjoy the classics, like Hasselhoff. What's wrong with the classics? I love Hasselhoff. Have you heard, Night Rocker? And Reinhardt Wilhelm's not only a fan of the Hoff's musical output, he also loves his TV. Hasselhoff is my hero. I love Night Rider. Reinhardt's actually got a variety of other interests. We also learn from his chats with Diva that he's clearly a fan of hers, esports, and perhaps StarCraft as well. Why else would you? I was wondering if you'd sign something for me. It's <clears throat> for a friend. <laughs> of course. Here you go. Love, Diva. <laughs> as one of the original Overwatch Strike team, we know that Reinhardt's showing his age a little bit from some of the sounds we hear from him in game. Hold a moment. I need to catch my breath. <sighs> However, although he may be getting on a little bit, he certainly doesn't want to admit it, as shown in this dialogue with Mercy. Reinhardt, don't you think it's time you hug it up? You're not getting any younger. Never. I will fight to my last breath. Reinhardt also loves taking any chance to show that he's still got what it takes. Why not arm wrestle a world championship weightlifter? Here's an interaction with Zaya. Reinhardt, you said you would arm wrestle me. Nervous? Nervous? Me? Never! Now, on top of this, we actually find out from voice lines that Reinhardt's a pretty appearance-conscious guy. We learn, for example, that he's been pretty proud of his appearance in the past. Firstly, he's enjoyed a bit of sunning. I remember being posted here. It was good for my tan. We also learn from an interaction with Farah that he was even featured on her walls when she was young. Reinhardt was clearly a bit of a pin-up back in the day. Reinhardt. You know, I had a poster of you on my wall when I was younger. I remember the poster! My hair was amazing. Clearly a man who's quite proud of his do there. Now, Reinhardt's lines also give us a bunch of insight into his long friendship with Torbjorn. As the two veterans in the current hero lineup, the ex-Overwatch original strike team partners seem to have a long-lasting friendship. These two grizzled veterans seem happy to be fighting together again and have some great banter and friendly jibes. Here's a few examples of the back and forth you can hear between them before and during the game. Reinhardt, least number of eliminations buys the post-mission drinks? <laughs> Let's show these kids how it's done. I sometimes wonder if all that armor slows your brain down. Yeah, and I sometimes wonder if your height is why you're always in such a bad mood. Well done, my diminutive Swedish friend. Lots of friendly jibes there, we think. However, it's actually quite touching to hear what happens when a Torbjorn on your team dies when you're playing Reinhardt. You'll actually hear this line come out. Torbjorn! I will avenge you! To wrap up our look at Reinhardt behind the armour, we're taking a little look at a couple of in-game voice lines that have actually been kicking around for quite some months. They've only just been released in client, however. We get an interesting insight as to what might come up in Reinhardt's backstory, perhaps when his digital comic releases, as well as maybe some hints at some new stuff. Here's our first line that's got some interesting potential connotations. Ah, it feels good to be home! Brigitte! Brigitte! So, why is Reinhardt happy to be home? He doesn't use this line on other levels, as far as we know, anywhere else he might consider home, like Watchpoint Gibraltar, if he operated out of there. Either this perhaps points to an old part of Project Titan and is a relic from the old development of that game, or maybe it's a new level in future. From his bio on the site, we know that Reinhardt is based in Stuttgart, Germany. As a bit of fun, parts of the south of Germany are known for their schlosses, their sort of fortified house-type castles, and indeed a stunning set of castles. Here's a picture as an example. So, maybe Reinhardt's home level or town in future could be a setting for a future map. Castles would certainly make for some interesting gameplay.
Reinhardt, I don't approve of you dragging that poor girl around on your adventures. Brigitte has made her choice. I would have her at my side. So, two mentions of Brigitte there. Now, who could she be? There's a few theories going around. Our favourite, regardless of putting a face to her name, is that Brigitte is Reinhardt's squire. Now, if you're a player of Hearthstone or World of Warcraft, you'll be kind of familiar with the term from the Argent faction. However, if you're not, a squire in medieval history was the shield or armour bearer of a knight. They could be an errand runner, a servant, or a trainee or apprentice. Perhaps Brigitte is either someone Reinhardt has rescued, or who has teamed up with him for some reason. As Mercy refers to Brigitte as a girl, or little girl, maybe Brigitte is quite young and under Reinhardt's care. A ward, if you will. It won't be one of our story videos without a little tinfoil hat speculation. Do we have any evidence of what Brigitte could look like? Well, we've seen what looks to be a girl with Reinhardt in King's Row in the We Are Overwatch cinematic trailer. Now, this could certainly be a girl with Reinhardt on his adventures, as Mercy has stated in the voice line. What do you think? A second, and perhaps maybe less proven theory, is that the girl we've just seen could be this particular girl from the Widowmaker Alive shot recently, and that they are both actually Brigitte. Who do you reckon Brigitte might be? And what do you think we might discover about her in future? Speculate away, we'd love to hear your ideas. Thanks very much for tuning in to my new series. If you like this video, please hit that like button below, subscribe's in the middle, and please comment with what hero you'd like to see cover next. I really appreciate hearing what you all think. You can check out my Easter eggs and Overwatch map lore series, and regular Overwatch commentated gameplay vids on the channel too. Playlists below. Until next time, I've been Hammy, great to see you, and take it easy.